In this video, we show how to create the profile of a simple building using AutoCAD 2008. This drawing is in paper space and, as a first step, will erase the large viewport. You can see that the drawing disappears from paper space. All that remains is a large rectangle which I drew previously to serve as template for when I redraw the viewport later on. To get into model space, I'll click the model button. Notice that the drawing still exists in model space even though erased in paper space and that I split the screen into two vertical viewports so there will be room to redraw the architectural plan on the right hand side. In AutoCAD the default unit is decimal and we have to change it to architectural units. We have to go to Dimension Style to modify the units and click on Architectural instead of the decimal default. It is also necessary to type the word units and change that dialog box to show Architectural rather than Decimal. In addition, we will type the word dim scale, D-I-M-S-C-A-L-E, and change the value from 1 to 96 because we want to print at a scale of 1 8 inch equals 1 foot. That means 1 inch equals 8 feet, which equals 86 inches, and therefore the scale will be that 1 inch equals 96. This is important because dim scale allows us to increase the size of text in arrowheads so it's become readable when the drawing is printed at a much smaller scale. If we look in the left hand viewport we can see that we want to add 4 feet plus 20 feet plus 20 feet plus 6 feet a total of 50 feet so we'll pick any start point on the right and with we'll ortho on draw a line upward to 50 feet. Then we will move the mouse to the left and type 8 feet, move the mouse up and type 6 feet, and then move the mouse to the left and type 39 feet. Since what we have drawn so far takes us to the center of the building, we can now mirror what we have drawn to create the left side of the building. Also, we want to draw a line from the left side of the building to the right side of the building and offset that line downward a distance of 9 feet. And we also want to draw a straight line, uh, draw a line through, the, through the center of the building which intersects the line we just offset and using the arc command will connect the three intersections and erase the unnecessary At this time it would be helpful to convert all the lines on the perimeter of the building into a single continuous polyline. To accomplish this we'll use the polyline edit command. I'll select a line I'm asked if I want to turn it into a polyline. I say yes, and then I want to join that line with all the other lines on the perimeter so as to make one single continuous polyline. And now we want to offset the perimeter inward a distance of 12 inches to create a wall thickness. In the next phase of making this drawing, we'll add the columns after determining their proper location. So now we'll use the offset command and offset the vertical lines two places to the right and two places to the left. And then we'll offset the horizontal line up four feet and then we'll offset that line 20 feet into 
two places and erase the next thing to do is to create a square box that is two feet on a side and draw an I beam and then make a block of that so that we can then uh, move it into the proper intersections There are 15 columns on this drawing, and so naturally we have to locate all of them properly. And then, quite naturally, we'll have to add dimensions. As well as whatever balloons are necessary to specify the location of those columns. Now I think it's a good time to go back to using only one viewport and add the scale 1 8 inch equals 1 foot. Having finished the architectural plan, I want to get back to paper space so as to view the drawing properly and make it ready for printing, so I'll click on the Layout 1 button. As you can see, my template rectangle is still there. Now to create the viewport, I'll use the MView command and select two diagonal intersections to create the viewport. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of 1 to 1, even though individual viewports can be set to different scales. I double click outside the viewport so as to get back into paper space. You can set the scale of the viewport by clicking on it and going to the properties icon and then moving down to standard scale. Select the scale you want, in which in this case will be 1 8 inch equals 1 foot. Finally, if you don't want the large rectangle to be printed, you can, you can go to the Layer dialog box and you can freeze the layer viewports. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want me to make more, please comment on the video, also because I enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching.